Another one, animation system. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's like that's a classic one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. officially the Unity dots, um, you know, their own animation system. That one is still, um, you know, you can see it on the dots roadmap page. It's under development. Um, and that's basically all that they've said about that official solution so far. Um, so actually, yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the link to it, but, um, I know Luke, who yeah, I see like, in the, who is in the chat. Awesome. Yeah. He, he's, uh, kicked off an awesome, um, blog post, uh, basically kind of detailing all the animation options that are currently available. It's a very helpful thing. I, I reference it all the time. I always get comments from people on the YouTube channel asking about, um, dots animations and I, so I'll send them that and they're like, oh, you know, there's actually a whole lot of options available. Yeah. And, um, and also as far as animation systems go, have you kind of used any uh, in particular or, or like what do you kind of typically do if you're implementing Gen animations? Generally, or... uh, I tend to like switch a little depending on what I'm doing. Uh, my main approach uh, is um, I use Mikinem and then I um, on uh, my baker, I store uh, the actual game object that I want to spawn, that, you know, my mega name ghost, um, and then, you know, on initialization of that in runtime, I just go ahead and instantiate that game object. But it also means that, uh, because I am in my entities world doing that instantiation, I can also get that reference on the entity itself. Um, and I can kind of hook up all my animations directly to my entity. Um, so if I want to play an animation, I can just say, uh, you know, that, uh, set trigger or something um, on my right board. right so yeah basically just to kind of confirm what you're saying is you have your entity and then you have like a baker with a game object field on there um, now you're not you know during the baking process you're not converting that game object to an entity you're just saving that game object reference um, and you just you put a, a prefab in there right like a prefab game object uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then so yeah, at runtime, basically, you will instantiate that prefab. And then, um, you know, basically, you can now have a reference to that through a managed data component, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, you can, which... add, uh, you can even actually add um, managed ob uh, components are both all I component data that are of class, but it's also all uh, unity engine objects. So that also includes oh, okay. animation directly. So you can just actually add uh, the animator. So if you ha if you on your game object have an animator component on the, that game object, the the prefab that you made, and you didn't just go ahead and you know add that animator to the entity, um, your actual entity, your baked entity. Um, that means that now I can just say uh, entity manager dot get components get component object something I can't remember the actual method for getting managed object, but. That actually gets you directly to the animator, and that means you can now directly. Gotcha. So you just do add component object just on the animator. So that's all you really have a reference to. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. 